the CEO of Global Ikwan Services and Business Holdings, or GISB, has been detained along with his wife as Malaysian police widen their raid over a child sex abuse case. The surrounding charity homes linked to this firm. Uh, Nasiruddin Muhammad Ali was among 19 people detained in an early morning raid today on four residential premises in Kuala Lumpur. While Nasiruddin previously admitted to one or two cases of sexual assault, he denied other allegations of misconduct. Uh, five other people linked to the company were also detained on the border with Thailand. Police had rescued more than 400 children last Wednesday who had allegedly been exploited and sexually abused. They were found in some 20 welfare homes believed to be linked to GISB. The victims are aged between 1 and 17 years. A total of 171 suspects have been arrested, including a teacher and dorm caretakers. And for more CNA's Afifa Arifin joins us live. Afifa, tell us more about the charges and what we can expect following these arrests. Well, Wei Su, many developments happen, happening in the last 48 hours as it appears that the authorities are taking swift action against GISB. Some arrests from the raids last week were already charged in court and new arrests were made on Thursday. Among the latest developments, uh, police have arrested GISB's CEO Nasiruddin Muhammad Ali, his wife, his children and other members of the company's top management. It's understood that among them, four of them are the daughters of the late Ashari Muhammad, the founder of Al-Arkam, a religious sect which was banned by the government in 1994. Now, police had conducted a raid at four residential units in Bukit Bintang at about 5.40 a.m. Uh, on Thursday morning. All 19 of them will be remanded for seven days as investigations continue. Meanwhile, also on Thursday morning in Nagri Sembilan, that's one of the states where the raids were conducted in last week, three men Three male teaching assistants and caretakers from a religious school there have been charged with 14 counts of sexually assaulting five children between the ages of 9 and 11. The three men are the first to be charged with sexual assault related to the raids last week. Now, these offences were allegedly committed at the religious school in Kuala Pila uh, sometime between 2022 and 2023. The case will be mentioned next on October 3rd. And if convicted, they could be jailed up to 20 years and caned as well. Now, of course, all of these developments follow Wednesday's events so where the police intercepted two vehicles uh, bearing the GISB logo, which were attempting to enter Thailand. Five men were detained, one of them the son of a GISB uh, leader, uh, although no further details were disclosed. Also on Wednesday, a man linked to GISB was also charged in Putrajaya court for criminal intimidation. FIFA, as you mentioned, uh, news of this broke last week. And when it did, I remember considerable public outrage. Uh, it's been several days. Uh, in those days, has have government authorities put in place any measures to reassure the public that children in care homes are kept safe? Well, indeed, Raysio, I mean, following the shocking revelations from last week's raids, um, it has raised alarm all across Malaysia. We heard from Malaysia King Sultan Ibrahim ordering an immediate and thorough investigation into this matter. The cabinet has also discussed and they talked about the welfare, the future prospect training, religious education of all of the 400 children and teenagers who were rescued by the police last week. And across the country, we have seen many states uh, stepping up their inspection enforcement efforts of uh, children's shelters as well as any uh, uh, homes that are linked to GISB and its network. In Johor, for example, the state government has ordered an immediate inspection of all state-registered children's shelters. Similarly, in Selangor and Pera, they're also monitoring, observing, investigating uh, some of the welfare homes and Islamic schools related to GISB as well as some of the company's premises. Uh, over in Borneo as well, in Sabah, we know that an investigation will be carried out to see if there are any links between GISB and the deviant teachings associated with that banned sect Al-Arkham. 